Welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and technically this is part six of my 100% walkthrough for Broken Age, but this video could be used on its own to get the speed run achievement in this game. If you've been following the series, we've only got two achievements left to get. That is one for beating the game in under an hour, and the final achievement just for getting all the other achievements. So if you're following along with the series, that's the two achievements we're going to get at the end of this video. So this is going to be a, a full game walkthrough for beating the game in under an hour. A few things to remember before we get started. We need to be as quick as we can. Uh, finishing the game under an hour is maybe easier than it sounds, but you do need to do everything right. Uh, I think my best time so far, I've beaten the game like four or five times now, is about 52 minutes um, and I've taken notes on all that and I've worked out how we can get that uh, to work here. Now I don't know, it may take me a little bit longer because I may have to explain certain things but that reminds me, I am going to have to speed through this so I may not explain things as precisely as I do in my normal walkthroughs because I do have to be quick and I can't stop and explain everything uh, here so it's going to be more of a do what I do rather than do what I say type of walkthrough. Uh, now, we do have eight manual saves that we can make in the game, or eight save slots. I do recommend that you do use those periodically. I won't point out every save that you need to make. Where there are important saves, like before important puzzles that we may stuff up, I am going to tell you to make those saves. So don't worry too much. I'm going to point out the saves that really would um, cost you time if you made a mistake. So I will be doing that. Uh, we're going to be making use of skipping all the cutscenes and skipping all the dialogue that we can. We're going to be using the uh, double click feature to move through screens as quick as we can. We have to get through Act 1. I think I'm going to do Valor first, Act 1 with Shay, Act 2 with Shay, and then Act 2 with Valor, and then the finale. And um, we need to do it, yeah, in under an hour. I think that's all I needed to explain. So let's go new game. We can uh, select any slot. These are all my save slots from previous playthroughs, specifically this. Uh, what did I do on this account? This was the walkthrough that we just did um, to beat the game and get all the other missable achievements. I just had to remember which account we we're on for a second then. So we're going to skip uh, as much as we can here. I'm not sure if we can skip this. And we're going to choose Valor to get things started as soon as our cursor comes up. Uh, we're going to click as much as we can to get her up. We're going to start clipping. Skip the cutscene with B. Talk to the little girl as quickly as we can. Uh, now, pausing does stop the timer, guys. I have tested that as well. Um, cutscenes and dialogue, though, do count towards the time. Uh, loading screens do not. Double click on the house to enter the house. Click where the light switch is as quickly as you can. Skip the uh, little cutscene and then click on the cupcakes or the towel down here and then the cupcakes. The Skip all the dialogue, click on the cupcakes. Then we're gonna use the cupcake on the old man. For me. Skip all the dialogue, say split it with you. Skip that, pick up the knife, go back to the center, oops, center of the room. Use the knife on the mum in the background. Skip everything once you get to there. Gonna find yourself finally at the Maiden's Feast. We're gonna talk to each of the girls from left to right. Just click on them once and then skip. Don't click on yourself, blue and red. Now we're gonna click on the girl in blue and ask her for a drink of water. Then click on the blue girl again, ask for the bottle one more time. We are gonna click on this girl. Sorry, no we're not. We're gonna use the bottle on this girl. Use the bottle on the final girl. Use the towel on the uh, remaining girl. Skip the dialogue. We're going to use the corset on the bird. Skip that and then use the knife on the dress and skip all of that. So hopefully I'm not going too fast. Um, this is really hard to explain and do fast at the same time. Okay, as soon as you're in control here in the clouds, guys, move over to the center and to the far right. Skip to the far right screen and then go talk to the girl, Maggie or Mugi. And we need to do the following. Uh, skip that where you need to say, what are you doing exactly? Skip the dialogue. Then we need to say, how do you get the eggs in the high nests? And then we need to say, hey, can I borrow your ladder? 
skip out of the conversation, use the ladder on the cloud up here and we're gonna pick up the knife. You can skip the animation and pick up the knife. Then head back down and we need to head back across to the left as quickly as we can. Can't skip this animation though. So we're gonna head back to, no, 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 this way, this way, this way, all the way to the left. And we're gonna go talk to Carol, or Carl, as she's known here. As soon as the conversation starts, you wanna skip out of it. Skip out of it, use the knife on her. Go into your inventory, use the shoes that we've just got on the ladder. Skip all that. Go back down the stairs. We need to go down the ladder at the far south of this area. So as soon as you can double click the ladder, do that. And skip that animation and go talk to, I think her name is Twyla or something. Say, uh, skip the dialogue. Oops, sorry. I skipped too far. Say, I really like your outfit. Say, did you say something about shoes? Now we're going to skip out of that and we're going to use the shoes on ourself. Make sure she puts them on and head back up the ladder. Now head to the top right, double click as soon as you can. I think I just made it here. Yeah, and then we're going to head double click on the cloud in the background. We're going to use the ladder to get this golden egg. So use the ladder on the cloud. Skip the animation, pick up the egg. Immediately double click down to get down to the back to the uh, main screen. We're gonna go to the bottom of the screen as quickly as we can. And then we'll be going to the left of screen as quickly as we can. Don't, don't worry about that bird. Skip to the left of screen. Head over to the center area here so we don't, oh, we can't fall anyway. And as soon as you can, use the ladder to get up to where Jesse is. Skip the animation and then double click the far left and we need to head over to the fruit. Skip all of that. Don't fall in that hole there. Avoid the hole, but continue moving to the left over here. You want to eventually click on the fruit branch to make the fruit fall. Now move back down around the tree. We want to fall down a particular hole, not the tree hole, but the next hole to our right. So we're going to start clicking on that hole there as soon as we can see it. Fall down there. It'll uh, get rid of gas, but we're going to skip that. And now we're going to fall down the uh, tree hole. Skip that animation, move to the left and pick up the fruit. And then move all the way to the right and pick up the blue egg. Keep going to the right, keep going to the right, pick up the egg. Skip animation if you need to, climb back up the tree. I'm not sure if there was an animation there. We need to climb up the tree and as soon as we can, you can start to skip this animation and then move back to our right. And we're gonna go to Jesse, don't fall down the holes. And as soon as you can, double click the right of screen. And as soon as we can, we are gonna use the blue egg on Jesse. We're gonna skip the animation. We're gonna pick up the golden egg. And then we're gonna go down the ladder as quickly as we can. And we're gonna try and move to the bottom left hand side. And as soon as we can, double tap the bottom left hand pathway to get to here. As soon as we're in this screen, we are going to use an egg on one of the baskets. Please place your offering in and as soon as the ladder's available, we're going to go up the ladder. Oh, careful there. That thing's skip that animation. Uh, say hi, but then skip through all the dialogue. And what I mean by that, guys, is we actually have to select all the dialogue and then press skip. We need to get through all of this dialogue. So just press A, B, A, B, A, B. And then continue through it. And this will help us get the golden egg. Skip down. Go and pick up... Jeez, I can't get my cursor, the uh, golden egg over here. And then put our remaining two golden eggs in the two remaining baskets. Huh. I wonder what the weight limit is. Now skip that and climb the ladder. Skip that. As quickly as you can, click on this uh, golden or the sun thing in the... Uh, in the window so that you pick that up. Go down the stairs and pick up the axe as quickly as we can. Uh, once you've done that, click on the art above the fireplace and then talk to Curtis. You need to say certain things here. Um, okay, I forgive you. Then say, hey, about this art. What is it? Can I have it? I like how it matches your decor. 
and then back out of the conversation. And then as soon as you can, grab that piece of art okay, yeah. and then exit the house. And we need to go all the way to the mayor in Shell Mound. So if you can get there as quickly as you can, this uh, isn't letting me skip the diet, um, the animation. Now I'm double, I'm tapping as fast as I can on the far right of screen and eventually, as soon as it's available, it'll let me travel. Oh, it doesn't on the first try, that's right, okay. And we're gonna go all the way past the talking tree by double tapping the end of the screen. And we're gonna tap down to the beach and we need to go talk to the mayor or the mayor. Once again, I still don't know how to say it. Okay, so go talk to him. Come on, come on. As soon as you've got the option of dialogue, hey, uh, wait a minute. Uh, because you look like the mayor, I was looking at the wrong notes. Oh, yeah. Hey, about your bucket hat. It looks great on you. Very fancy. Head right, and then we need to talk to the maidens. No, not the maidens, sorry, up the stairs. We need to go up the stairs and talk to the druids. So click on these guys, talk to them as quickly as you can. Uh, hey, can I get you guys something? Uh, some more holy tear gas. Can I go inside? And then, uh, I don't know, it looks cool. Now, give the druids some fruit. Check it out. And that will allow us to go inside, which of course we are gonna do. We're gonna get the art thingamajiggy and place it on this pedestal and skip anything that happens after that. Then we're gonna click on these two diamond shapes in the top, get both of those. Then we are gonna use our sun one on the top. What are you doing? Skip the dialogue and use the other one in the bottom. Skip that. Uh, scene and whatever happens there skip all of that Okay, now we need to head and pick up the driftwood on the beach And we need to use the empty fish gun on the uh, chum stuff here, so do that uh, Whoops wrong button then head back over to the maidens and use the uh, chum gun on them Then quickly grab the perfume and then head to the left and we need to go back to Curtis's house. So as quickly as we can, double tap the top left there, double tap past the tree. And as soon as you see the house, you can double tap on the door to get inside. If I could find my cursor. And we're gonna use the wood on Curtis. And then as soon as you've given him the driftwood, you can skip and leave the house and go back to the talking tree. So as quickly as we can, we're gonna double tap the right hand side of the screen up here. Go to the talking tree. Come on, Vela, hurry up. I'm trying as quickly as I can to tap there. As soon as we're on this screen, we are gonna use the ax on the tree. I have a skip that. Then we're gonna use the bucket on the tree, skip that. And then we're gonna use the school stool on the tree and then skip that. Now we're gonna to head to the right. And we are gonna use the perfume on ourselves. Make sure you get that animation done and then head to the right. And we're gonna use the bucket on the mayor. And then we're going to talk to the mayor. Oops, talk to the mayor. And we're going to say I need to enter the maiden's feast. This way. Follow me. I do re recommend saving it straight away here, guys. We're going to walk over towards the pyramid. And we're going to use the death ray on the legs. We need to shoot three of the legs, guys. If all right, there's the second leg. We need to get the third. Okay, as soon as you've got three legs, guys, the uh, Moggy Thingy guy is going to grab us. Skip the animation. As soon as you can get the ladder, put the ladder in its mouth. Skip that animation. And then use the laser again. Shoot in the mouth. Did I miss the mouth? Die, monster. Die. Die. Skip the cutscenes. As soon as we're here guys, click every click on the screen and skip, click and skip uh, until you can move to here. 
Soon as you're on this screen, just choose the bottom option, pick up the spoon, then use the spoon on the cereal. Skip the cutscenes. When you are talking to mum, we need to say, better suit up and investigate the foreign body. Soon as we've got control again, we need to click on the foreign body. And as soon as we can, we need to skip this. Now we need to defend the friendship circle will be our next option here, guys. Uh, we have to defend. As soon as we're in control here, guys, open the present by selecting in the inventory, pressing X, um, skip the scene, and then click on the blue huggy dude. Skip all that. You're going to... When we are talking to mum again, we need to collect, uh, let's catch the runaway train. Skip ahead, click on the mountain so he does the uh, tongue thing, and we need to click on the mountain again as soon as the yellow guy lets go. So that we uh, fall off the uh, rails again. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Click the click him again, and then skip ahead. Alright, as soon as we're back in control, we need to click on the bed, skip all that. Then head off to the right, and we need to pick up the yellow air thingamajiggy. It's a tank of compressor. Head to the right again. When, as soon as you see the vent, use the screwdriver thingy on the vent. Pick up the thing out of the vent. Use the air thingy on the inflatable raft. Move over to the right till you can see the bed. Then use inflatable U or inflatable shape on the bed. Skip ahead. And now we can go down the vent that we uh, opened just a second ago. And double click that. Although you can't on the first occasion. Okay, cool. Skip all the cutscenes. As soon as we're back in control, guys, head in the little vent, little uh, crawl space there. We need to go down the ladder. Then we need to go back up the ladder. I'm not sure if I actually needed to do that. And we're gonna use the star chart on the weaver. Skip all of that. Make sure you make a save here, guys, and then head through the uh, little uh, vent and talk to Marek. Uh, we made a save there specifically in case we take too long doing this rescue mission. As soon as you're in control here, press the green button. Wait for this to be hovering over our guy and press the pink button. Then what you need to do is press the right arrow and then the up arrow and get ready to catch the little thing. I should have done it quicker there and boom. And as long as you didn't waste too much time, you won't need to reload the save. Okay, we need to go back through the manual tunnel. We're going to give the weaver our new star chart or whatever it's called. And then we're going to make that save again, guys. And then head back through the vent. We're going to do another rescue mission. And we've made that save just in case we take too long doing this. But as soon as we're here, press the green button. Get ready to save this guy. There we go. Okay, we need to go up once. And then left once. And then get ready to press the rescue button again. Rescue him. Now we need to move up uh, twice, I think it is. And then save this guy. There we go. Uh, then we need to go... Okay, right two, I think it is. Right two, and then up one. And now we need to save this guy. Okay, wait till they're both sort of on one edge or close enough. Grab that one, and then we need to move... No, no, no. Skip the cutscene and then move down two, I believe. And then we can grab the last creature. Make sure you don't stuff that up. If you take too long when you stuff it up, guys, go back and reload that save we made. Now, as soon as we can, uh, skip everything. I'm going to need to go back through the vent and talk to Merrick once we're back in control. Okay, so we're back in our bedroom. Head right, go through the vent. Head left and speak to Merrick. Come on. Speak to Merrick. Whatever his name is. Oops, speak to him. Uh, what we need to say is how are we going to control the ship's boom arms? How are we going to take down the shields? And the distress call something something. And then skip out of that. Head back through the vent on the left. Back out this door. Or out this door on the left. The door on the top right. Top left, sorry. Top left, top left. And then into the kitchen. And pick up the knife. 
Go back the way we came. Back into the cent central room. So out of the kitchen then, through this door. Over to the right, we need to go through the green door when we see it. It should be the door on the left. So go through the green door. And then go through the red teleporter door. Teleporter. Skip the dialogue when you need to. Once in this room, guys, we need to pick up the blue suit. Hey, the helmet comes off. Okay, as soon as we've got that, we go through this little tunnel on the right, guys. We're going to be in Merrick's room. We're going to head all the way to the right of Merrick's room, or Merrick's room. Go through the door on the right, and then immediately through this little tunnel. And then we're going to move to the right and out of Thingo's room. And we need to go back through the green door. Okay, and then we need to go through the far right teleporter, this one here. Teleporter. Get through that. Okay, now we need to go to, I think it's the, called the hug attack room. So as soon as we're out here, move to our left, ignore the train door, move to our left. And then go in this big door with the smiley face. Click on the uh, hug dude in the uh, bottom here. And when the dialogue starts, we're going to say, hey, maybe I can fix your back. Uh, there it is. Skip all that. Then go exit. Double click on there. And then head to the left and go in the ice cream room. As soon as you can, grab the uh, whipped cream gun. And get ready to exit the room as soon as you've got it. It's a whipped cream gun. From here, we're going to head back through the door on the left. And then into the Nexus room, so the green door. And then we're going to go through the only teleporter we haven't been through yet, which is the yellow one, the middle one. As soon as we're back in control here, we're going to use the helmet on ourselves. And then we're going to move through to the left. As soon as you have your suit, we're going to click all the way to the left, and we're going to uh, we're going to go into our inventory, get the headphone thingamajiggies, and pop them on the court. Justin. Skip all that, and then leave. And leave again here. We've got to uh, wait for him to walk back through this. Skip that. Head through the teleporter. Skipping the dialogue as we go. Once we're back in the Nexus, we're going to go to the far right teleporter. The blue one. Teleporter. I think it's blue. We can't skip that. I tried. And we're going to head to the far right. The moon door back out to space or through the airlock and out to space. Skip ahead. Now use the compressed air on Shay. Skip. Use the uh, whipped cream gun. Whoops. Uh, whipped cream gun on Shay. Then use the knife on the rope. Knife on the rope. And now move up. And we're going to go up. Uh, skipping the animation. We've got to go up around the antenna. Or up and over it, I should say. And then over to the panel over here. Oops, I went a bit low. Up here we want to go. Oh, come on. Up, up, up. Come on, mate. I want to stuff that up a little bit. Get to the control arm panel thingamajiggy. Use the knife on the hatch. Skip that. Now use Gary on the hatch. And now we've got to go back. Get back over the antenna and back down the airlock as quickly as we can. Come on. So head to the right. Make it past the antenna. And then head down. As soon as you see the hatch, you should be able to double click on it to go inside. Okay, head down to the left. We want to exit the airlock to the left as quickly as we can. Double click there. We want to go back in this teleporter door here. Teleporter. From the Nexus, we're going to exit to the far left. And we're going to go to the Space Weaver as quickly as we can. So far left here. Out the door on the far left. Out down and find the red door. As soon as you can, double click the red door. And we're going to speak to the Space Weaver. Here we are going to uh, skip the dialogue and then say fine, cozy cluster it is. And as soon as we can, we're going to go down the ladder. 
And we're going to use the crochet hook on the uh, nitty thingamajiggy. We're going to go first, third, first, and then we're going to back out of there. First, third, first. So those crosses where I've put them. It's not letting me go back out. We're going to go up the ladder. And go on the far right to exit the screen. Make sure you've made a save here, guys. Just as a reference point, mine is at 20 minutes. And we're going to click on the rescue mission or on Marek, is it? Skip ahead. And as soon as we can, click on the green button. And then... There we go. We got the first one. And then we are going to go up to... And we're going to grab the second creature. Don't rush too much. There's the second one. And then we are going to move right three. Oh, we're going to skip the dialogue. Then we're going to move right three times. And down one. So one, two, three. Down one. And there we go. Grab the third one. Skip all the cutscenes. It's not letting me skip this part. Come on game, let me skip. Come on, game. Once we get through this cutscene, guys, we're going to pick Shay. We're doing Shay Act 2 next. And we are going to be stuck talking to our dad. And we need to exit that conversation as quickly as we can. That's the plan. Come on. Apologies if you can hear. There's a thunderstorm here. My dog just jumped up on me before I had to pause and everything. Uh, I'm just still trying to skip this. You may hear that button clicking too, but you might hear the rain or thunder in the background too. Alright, come on. As soon as we can, as soon as we've got control here, we want to click on the left side of screen and choose shape. Come on, game. Hurry up. Pardon the interruption guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. All right, as soon as we've got control, we've gotten through that dialogue, we're going to head to the left, down to the main part of the beach in Shell Mound. And we're going to find the hexi power where the maidens were. We're going to pick it up. Where were we? Pick up the hexi power. Hey. All right, head up the stairs and through the door as soon as we can. And we need to get through all of Alex's dialogue here. So talk to Alex and just get through it as quick as we can by basically A B A B A B and so on. Okay, now we need to go to the snake guys, far left past Curtis's house. So we're going to go outside, double tap down to get onto the beach. We're going to tap to the left as quickly as we can. Hey, what about the seashell? And as soon as we can, we're going to double tap the top left. We're going to head far left past the talking tree, and now we're going to continue left till we get to the snake. Uh, not the, not that. All the way left. And we're going to let the snake just uh, tire itself out again. So we do have to wait, even though this is a speed run. Let the snake fall on us. And now we literally just have to wait, guys. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? Now, as soon as the snake falls off, we can't even skip this dialogue. As soon as the snake falls off, we have to pick it up. And then on our way back to the right, we are going to grab it the um, Valor flyer out of the mailbox. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, well, this has been fun, but 
I, I had better be going soon. Yeah, we're in a speed run, Snake. Hurry up. Time's over, my scaly friend. I, oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's spoon. I remember reading on the ship's cosmopedia. All right, nearly there, nearly there. Hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Nope, we're not going to use the horn. Uh, in fact, you better let go. I've never used the horn in the in the walkthrough. There's no need to use it for the walkthrough. Mr. Come on, Snake. Off you get. I think it won't be much longer now. Are you asleep yet? Come on. Okay, there we go. Pick up the snake. Head to the right. Here with someone might step on him. Interact with the mailbox. Come on, come on, mailbox. Mailbox. There we go. Grab the flyer and then head to the back to the right and we need to head to the beach again. So, through the screen to the right and then past the talking tree. And we're gonna go use the snake on the mare. Or mare. <laughs> Who knew I was gonna say that? All right, head to the right. Don't worry about Carol. Hurry up, Shay. Soon as we can, grab the snake, use it on the mayor. Now we're going to give the schematic to the mayor. Do you know how to build a super? Oops. Excuse me. Oops. Hang on. Oh, I used the schematic on him. No, I didn't use the schematic on him. And then say, I. Wait, wait, wait. I think sand is the perfect material. Okay. Now we need to go to the talking tree. Now use the uh, uh, mold thingy majiggy on the sap or the vomit patch. Okay, then use the flyer on the tree. Skip all that and head to the left. And as soon as you can, we need to warp to the lumberjack's house. Sorry, wood shop is closed. We need to skip through all of his dialogue. So we need to go through it one at a time like we've done before. A, B, A, B, A, B. What is that thing? Is Vela? Once the dialogue's over, guys, we need to use the mold thingy majiggy on Curtis, skip ahead, and then go up through the door on the left. Skip the animation. We are going to move to the right as quickly as we can here. Don't worry about that. Skip to the right again. Like, skip everything, I mean. And then we need to go to not the bottom um, thing, but the top right screen, so the far right. We need to double click there. And then we need to go down here and we need to talk to Maggie. Um, hi, I'm Shay. Click, I want a cupcake. How's the campaign doing? I want a cupcake. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did then. And then no, but I support your cause. Well, then leave the conversation. Double click in the background. We need to go talk to the old man. Skip that. Talk to the old man. Say, do you guys know anywhere to get money? Did you see the bake sale over there? And you frosted all those cupcakes by yourself. Then go back, and we need to go back to Maggie. So just click on the front of the screen here until we get back to Maggie. Click up at Maggie. And we need to use, oops, the coin on Maggie. As soon as we've done that, we're going back to the left screen, guys. Back to this central area. As soon as we're here, guys, use the cupcake on the men in the back. And then head back down. And we need to head back to the right. And we're going to use the cupcake on the old man in the back. So we need to walk to the back first. Skip that. Use the plain cap cupcake on the old man. Skip that. And then head back again. And now we need to head back to the left again. Sort of, a bit of a, a lot of backtracking here. As soon as we can, we're gonna double tap to the far left. So we end up back in the central area. We wanna go up the ladder and up here. So if we double tap up there, we're gonna automatically teleport to the fruit tree area. Now move to the left without falling down the holes. Move left and then down, and we need to talk to the druid guys. As soon as you can, click on them. Skip ahead. 
Uh, say you won't press char or Alex won't press charges. I'll fight you. I need to help my mom. And then say I'm gonna go get a stick. Back out of the conversation. Then use the stick on the druids. You'll have a fight. Don't worry about the robes just yet. Drop down the hole and move to the left. You can skip the animation. Pick up a piece of fruit. Pick up a piece of fruit, then talk to Gus. Uh, what we want to say is, what's that? You're sticking the fruit. And then say, can I borrow it? Now, I just need to make sure that I picked up fruit. Yes, I did. Now, head back to the right. As long as you've got the fruit and the fruit tapper thingamajiggy. And head back up the tree. You can skip the animation. Head to the right. We're going to Jesse. Oh, no, we've got to pick up the robes first. Then head up and head to the right as quickly as you can. Once you're on this screen, use the fruit tapper thingamajiggy. Hang on, on the egg. And as soon as you can, skip the uh, cutscene. Pick up the eggshells. And then we need to head to the south and go down the ladder. Double tap the ladder. And go talk to what's her face on the swing here. <clears throat> Say, what were you guys talking about when I walked up? Maybe he was in a hurry. Uh, algebra. Uh, well, at least your costume is cool, and do you think you could make me a costume? Now, give Twyla the hazard suit, the blue little suit. Give that to her, skip ahead, and then give Twyla, uh, give her the robes. Head back up the ladder. And now we're going to head to this bottom left screen, guys. And we're going to hop on the ladder in the background. The one, the, the far right ladder, or the middle ladder, I guess you would call it. Skip that. Now, I'm pausing here and I'm going to make a manual save, guys. You're going to make two manual saves so that we don't overwrite one. This is where we need to do the not um, puzzle. And we want to do it in our first try so that we don't waste too much time. Um, have your phone or a camera ready or make a screenshot so when the... Not shows up on screen, you need to take a photograph or a screenshot of it and remember what the knot looks like. Um, once again, it could can be, I think, one of eight different options. Um, so you can either um, reload the save until you get the same one as me, or you can make the guesses and reload the save and do it just like we did in our previous playthrough if you've watched the uh, other series I've done on this game, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is make those saves I'm just going to save pretty much uh, anywhere. I'm going to make two saves. I accidentally pressed no. And that's in case we do have to come back to it and use one of them as an auto save. I've got two save slots in the same spot so that things aren't going to stuff us up. And now while we're on this ladder, we are going to talk to Further. And we are going to say, uh, what are we going to say? Can you untie that bow? Untie that bow? And then we're going to say, because it's in the way of us saving him and we're not going to... Um, Skip the dialogue because we want to see this knot when he shows it. Okay. How do I get ready, get ready. Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, I'm going to take a photo of that. That is the bucket of fin fingers one. And then we can skip through this. And now we can leave by heading down this ladder. And we're going to head all the way to the beach. So we need to head down through Curtis's house and then out and back past the talking tree. Okay, here on the beach, we're going to talk to Carol. We are going to say you seem good with your hands, know anything about knots, and we're going to pick the correct. Mine was a bucket of fingers. You may have a different one. Pick what you think is the correct one, and then skip through all the dialogue. Now we need to head to the right. We need to go get a pencil off Alex, so head up the stairs as quickly as you can and into the uh, thingamajiggy as quickly as you can. Speak to Alex. Say, can I borrow your space pencil? Okay. And as soon as you've got that, exit again and head back to Carol, guys. God, I hope this is uh, working for you. I hope this isn't too quick, but I have to be quick. Head back to the beach. As soon as you see Carol, use the pencil on her. Hey, I found... 
Oops. Hey, Carol. Uh, can I get the diagram? Hey, Carol. Wait, did I get it? Did I? Oh, I've got the diagram. Okay, once you've got the diagram, I don't know what I was doing. Head left. Back to the clouds. Wasted a few seconds there, but okay. We're going to get inside the house as quickly as we can. Uh, we're going to head up, up the door, like double click on the door and skip the animation. And then we're going to jump on the ladder. And we're going to make sure we click the right dialogue option here. When we, we on the ladder, we talk to father and we have to say, father, uh, no, let's give the knot another try. And these are the options. Now, my first one there is pull the finger. So I'm going to click pull the finger. Uh, the next one for me is the piggy tug on the piggy's tail. And the third one there for me is make the boat go under the bridge. As long as you get that right and skip ahead, you will have gotten all this uh, stuff sorted and you'll get the part for Alex's ship. Now we need to head, oh, now we need to head to the talking tree guys. Uh, and, and as long as you did that all quick enough, you can uh, overwrite those saves now. We don't need them. As long as you're satisfied that you got through the rope knot section quick enough. Uh, and we're going to head to the top left and we're going to go talk to the talking tree. So once we're here, talk to the talking tree. Now we are going to need to do a special save, but do that after we select all this dialogue. So don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I understand. Uh, that fish up there. Fish up there. Oh, come on. You don't need that fish. Oh, come on. Now, back out of the conversation. Make a manual save here. Now, guys, I'm going to explain this with my pause screen on so that there, so that the time isn't uh, ticking away for us. But here, we're going to uh, talk to the tree and we're going to select, hey, want to hear a joke. One of two options has to show up. If it doesn't show up, you need to quit out and reload the save we're just making right here at this spot. It needs to either have... Did you hear about the first national tree bank or what's the smallest full grown tree you've ever heard of? Now, because I don't know which one I'm about to get, I'm gonna, and I don't know which one you're going to get more importantly, if you get, did you hear about the first national tree bank? The second answer is it closed down and the third is don't worry, it just started a new branch. That is how you successfully tell that joke and get the fish. Or if your answer, your first option is what's the smallest full grown tree you ever heard of? The second answer is, I've seen one no bigger than my hand. And the third answer is, it's a palm tree. If you don't get either of those two, when you ask here, hey, want to hear a joke, quit out and reload until you get one of those two jokes and you successfully tell that joke and the fish falls down. All right, let's go. Talk to the tree again. Hey, do you want to hear a joke? Okay, there we go. I've got the, what's the smallest full grown tree you've ever heard of? Seen one no bigger than my hand and a palm tree. The fish will drop, pick up the fish. Okay. Now with the fish guys, head back to the right and we need to go to Carol. Uh, head, uh, as soon as you see Carol, show her the fish or use the fish on her from your inventory. When that's done, get out the crochet hook. Okay. And then say, but please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Now go talk to your dad. What's that smell? Dad? Son. Okay, we need to say what's cooking. cooking. We need to say how's the whole punch coming and how would you change the pH change anyway? The Good luck. Now we need to use the spoon on the potion. Sir, I hope you don't how's the pH balancing? The mixture Listen to this cutscene. Ten. ten. It's got a ten and we need to get it down to seven. Okay guys, I'm pausing here again to just stop the timer. Uh, for those that don't already know, we need the pH level to equal seven. When we use the eggshells on the potion, it adds three pH. And if we use the fruit on the potion, it takes away two pH. Mine is at 10, which means I'm gonna add three to take it to 13. And then I'm gonna take away six by using the fruit three times to get it down to seven. You need to work out what, which method is for you. I've seen it start on zero. I've seen it start on 14, I think it was once. And now I've seen it, mine is starting on 10. Work out whatever you need to do. Make a save right here if you want to so that you don't um, make an error. Or if you do make an error, sorry, you can reload the save and you don't waste any time. But get it to seven. So here I go, guys. I'm going to add the shells. And then I'm going to use the fruit three times. 
And then I'm going to use the spoon again. And if we've done it right, we'll uh, get this all sorted. Okay, back in control here. We need to give the uh, gyro thingy what's set to Alex. Skip that. And we need to give the feathered suit to Alex. And skip that. Now, I'd make a save here, guys, if I was you. And that's just in case this next bit takes too long, guys. We're going to get out the... Uh, sorry, not the hexi power. We're going to get the wire. And we're going to use it on the hexi power. And we're going to wire it the same we did in other playthroughs. My blue wire is going to go from 12 to 2. My yellow wire from 4 to 6. And my pink red wire from 8 to 10. That's all my wire. Once we've done that, we are going to use the hexi power over in the charging station. We're going to take a photo of this screen, guys. Okay, guys, I need to pause the uh, timer. So we're on the pause screen here, but you, luckily you can still see my pictures there over on the left-hand side. For the uh, benefit of the rest of this guide or for future reference, I'm going to be referring to these shapes as numbers because that's where mine are. Um, and you need to figure out what number these shapes are for you, if that makes sense. If you've already played the game through and this is your final run of the game, you'll know what I mean anyway. But the blue, uh, the blue shapes, that's going to be 12 and 2. The yellow shapes are going to be 4 and 6. And then the red shapes are going to be 8 and 10 in that order. Hopefully that all makes sense, uh, especially if this isn't your first run through of the game. It will all make sense. Okay, and we can exit out of there. And what we need to do now, guys, is grab the hexi power and we need to rewire it. We're going to be rewiring it using the picture uh, in Shay's playthrough. Obviously, we don't have access to it right now, but we're going to start by taking off all the wires. Now, I need to start with what is 12 for me. So I need to go from 12 and I need to go to 10 o'clock. So those two pictures, 12 to 10 for the blue wire. And then I need to go uh, from 6 o'clock to uh, 4 o'clock for the yellow wire. And then for me, I need to go from 2 o'clock to... Uh, let me just double check. Oh, to 8 o'clock. There we go. So that's what I need to do. Okay, and once you think you've got it right, guys, we need to put the HexiPal back in the charger. And then we need to also give it to Alex. Hey, well, and if it's all done right, when you click on Alex, everything's ready. Okay, good. Now we need to swap over to Vala. Click, click anywhere to get her to get up. Oops. And then click on the knife. We need to do, uh, exhaust all of the dialogue, so A, B, A, B, until we take the knife with us. There we go. As soon as we've done that, we need to go to the far right of the screen, onto the next screen, grab the helmet out of here. Once you've done that, use the knife on the rope, or the hose, sorry. Once you've done that, walk back over to these two machines and make sure you make a save here, guys. From here, we need to use the hose on the one of the two machines, guys. And we need to try and get the right configuration. The reason we do the save is in case this takes too long. So that is not the right configuration. I'm going to move that to there. I'm going to back out again. That is not the right configuration. One more possible option on here is the two top pipes. And that is the correct configuration. So now I'm going to climb the hose. If you haven't got the correct configuration yet, you may have to move to the other machine. If it takes too long, you may want to go to uh, your save that we made. Once you're up the rope or the hose, use the knife on the hose again. Skip ahead. Now we're going to head back over here and grab the small hose out of our way. Uh, just grab that. Use the big hose here. Grab one end, connect it to the top, back out, go to the other machine, grab the long hose and connect it to the top. Okay, as soon as you're in control here, guys, you want to grab the helmet. We're going to use it to grab this arm when it's facing the right way, somewhere about there. There we go. Skip that. Then we're going to use the uh, arm to grab this bucket when they're both facing or when 
Vela is facing the right way, somewhere about there. Gotcha. Excellent, skip that. Then we're going to use that. We've got to wait for Vela to come all the way back around. We need the fingers to be open, kind of like they are now. There we go. Once you've done that, we can then jump all the way down back inside. Okay, we need to move out of the uh, airlock and into the next room. So just start uh, tapping to the far left as quickly as we can. And from here, when we get control, oh, we do, we need to double tap the door on the far left to go across another screen. And from here, we're gonna go across another screen and we have to move this obstacle out of the way on the way. So click on the obstacle. Uh, you can speed it up and then we need to head this way. Come on, go through and then go through the door at the end. Uh, we need to go all the way left again. We are heading for Shay's room. So keep going left, keep going left. Oops, I did not mean to grab anything out of the inventory. Go through the door at the end. And once you're in Shay's room, go down through the vent. And when we get to here, we're going to walk across... Oh, sorry, we're going to automatically be talking to Merrick, and we need to exhaust all of his dialogue. Oh, I didn't realize we were uh, doubling up. Alright, once you go, you want to head left and go through the door that Merrick unlocked. And then we're going to continue left. We want to get to the trophy room through this little uh, crawl space. And once we're here, we want to use the teleporter. Uh, hello? Skip the dialogue. Skip that. Surprise! We're going to head left from here. Uh, we're going to enter the door on the right here, the blue door right where we came out. Okay, we're going to head past the obstacle and then we're going to move it back across. Move the obstacle. I think that's the right time to do that. I didn't put that in my notes though, so I'm a bit worried that I'm doing that wrong. But anyway, we're going to head to the right. If it's in the uh, recording, then it's right, guys, so don't worry. I don't want to worry you guys. Once we're in this screen, we need to go through this teleporter. Hey there. Go, go, go. Once we're through the teleporter, we need to exit all the way to the left, not through the teleporter. Hey, left, left. There we go. And we want to go to the room uh, outside the or next to the kitchen. We're nearly there now. And we just need to make sure we answer these questions correctly. So click on this door here. Uh, my name is Vela. No, wait, 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 wait. Yes, I'm here to take you down. Uh, engineering department, it's me, Shay. I think I did that in the wrong order, but it'll get the same result. When we're up to here, we need to answer, answer Mr. Huggy. Uh, please, can we not do this? Uh, won't let me skip this part for some reason. But skip dialogue when you can. And the next answer is purple. I don't know why I can't skip this dialogue. I'll have a drink while I'm waiting. I still can't skip it. It's purple size four polka dot, guys. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We've got purple size four polka dot. Alright, once we are inside, we need to exhaust all of Mum's dialogue. So we'll do the usual for that. Once we've done that, click on the big screen and we're going to exhaust all this dialogue as well. And then we're going to click on the uh, control sphere thingamajiggy. Okay, we need to unlock the kitchen door. And then click the left arrow. We need to click the claw. And then we need to leave. Uh, we need to head right one more screen. We need to unlock the weaver door, the red door. Click right again after unlocking that door. 
Unlock the ice cream door on the left. Don't worry about the other one. Go right again. Unlock the train door. Up the top here. Once you've unlocked the train door, make sure you make a save here, guys. All right, now we're going to move the hexapel, guys. We are going to click on this lightning bolt here. And then we're going to click on the light and turn the light out. Once he's fixed that, we're going to click the lightning over here. And we're going to click this lightning as well. And as soon as the hexapel moves to the next room, so will we. She'll have that fixed in no time. This way. There we go. We can move now. Okay, here we're going to start by turning off this light, hitting this lightning bolt here. Then we're going to hit this lightning bolt here and this up in the ceiling. When he starts to come over here, we're going to click this lightning bolt. And as soon as he starts working, now we're going to hit the final lightning bolt over here now. And if he, once he goes to fix that one, we can move to the next room. Okay, and once we're in this room, we're going to hit this lightning bolt. We're going to get some other things to start to appear. Actually, we're going to hit this one next. Then we're going to hit this one up here and this one up here. And what we're looking for is for our friend to go up the stairs. Hopefully, he goes up the stairs real soon. Yep, once he starts working on... No, he didn't go up the stairs. That's disappointing. Okay, I'm going to lose some time here, but we're going to put that out. And we're going to hit this and this once he's up the stairs working over here actually we'll hit that come on go up the stairs go up the stairs and once he's up there we can hit this one here and he'll start once he's fixed the one he's fixing now he'll head over to the door i lost a little bit of time there well that's the wrong one we don't want that one all right head to the left good okay once we're in this next room Okay, I should have made up some time. We can hit this lightning bolt. And we're going to go into the kitchen. If I could find my... Oh, we have to skip the dialogue. I couldn't find my cursor. Into the kitchen. We're going to hit this button until we see... Good morning. No, not good morning. Sorry. Taco pills. Good morning's for a different bit. Taco pill Tuesday. Hit the button. He's going to grab that. We're going to hit this lightning bolt. As soon as he walks over, we're going to head to the next room. In this room, we're going to hit this lightning bolt. And as soon as he sort of gets over there, we are going to click on the door. Actually, I don't know if we need to click on that. I think he'll fix it automatically. Skip the uh, cutscenes and dialogue here, guys. Just going to quickly go back into the control sphere here. Skip ahead. And we want to go into the kitchen. Come on, come on, come on. Into the kitchen. Probably could have done this in the last step, but I kind of forgot. We need to wait till it says good morning. And then click the claw. Okay, skip ahead. Do it again. When it gets down the bottom, press pause. That's good enough. Now we can exit the claw thingamajiggy. Once we're back here, we need to talk to Hope and exhaust all her dialogue again. This is new dialogue. Okay, I'm going back. And before we leave this room, guys, make sure you grab the fork and then we can leave on foot. So grab the fork, leave on foot, skip the dialogue and head into the kitchen. Grab inflatable Shay while you're in the kitchen. There you are. And then head back out. Don't worry about the cereal just yet. Okay, head to the right. And head through the blue door. I think it's the blue... Yeah, it's the blue door. Blue door. And then into the uh, ice cream room. We did leave the uh, obstacle there. Grab the whipped cream gun thingamajiggy. As quickly as you can. Hey, do these whip cream... Sorry, don't try and grab it. Use the inflatable shea on it, sorry. Okay, now try and put your shoes on, or your, not try it, do put the bird shoes on. With the bird shoes on, then use the bucket on the truck. Use the bucket on the truck again. It always needs two goes at it. Should 
Should have a bucket full of ice cream. Yes, we do. Now go back down the mountain and then uh, exit the room as soon as you can by clicking on there. It won't exit yet until the shoes come off. Skip the cutscene. There we go. Exit the room and then exit the door to the left. Now we need to go in the green room here or the green door. And then we need to go to the fusion core room. So that's the yellow middle teleporter. So use that. Alright, get through to the core as quickly as you can. Although you do have to sort of skip a few things here. Get to the core, use the ice cream on the core. Skip ahead and... Whoops. Wait a minute, that didn't work, that did not work. I don't know why. Use the ice cream on the core again. There we go, once you've got the core. I have no idea why that didn't work. We need to leave. Don't know why we can't double tap there. Come on. Hey. And then go th back through the teleporter. Here goes nothing. Thanks for choosing teleportation. Okay, from here we're going to head to the far left. As in out of this room altogether, not using any of the teleporters. Then we're going to use the door on the far left. And we're going to go into the kitchen. In the kitchen we're going to tap on the cereal. And as soon as she's done that, we are going to then leave. As long as you've tapped on the cereal, the bot did its thing. We're going to go one more screen to our right. We're going to use the green door, not the blue door. We've done this before on an earlier playthrough. And we're going to use the far right teleporter here. And we're going to click the hexipow before he... Sorry, before the bin closes, then what we want to do is use the ice cream bomb on the bin or the trash can, whatever you want to call it, and then we want to go in the train room. In the train room, we are going to use inflatable me on the sobbing sacks, for lack of a better word, and we are going to wait uh, until we can say, yeah, let's do the wave. We've skipped everything ahead to there and select, yeah, let's do the wave. Come on. We now have yellow yarn. We are going to quickly use that yellow yarn on the fork, and then we're going to go through this teleporter here. Hey there. Uh, from this teleporter room, we're going to use the far left teleporter, the uh, trophy room, or the red teleport teleporter. And then we're going to go through the little crawl space. And we're going to interact with this panel on the wall, guys. Oops, I did not mean to skip out of that dialogue. We need to go through all their dialogue, so you know the drill. Now we're going to use the cereal on the maidens. We're going to grab the hook. And then we're going to talk to the maidens again and exhaust that dialogue. I think that's it. Then we're going to click on the wires. And as soon as the scene starts, we're going to skip that. And we're going to head back to our left. Through the teleporter. Hey Mel. Fingers crossed. And we are gonna head left, 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 all the way back to Shay's room. Heading left here, be careful not to go in Mum's room or Hope's room, whatever you call it, and go through this door. Down the vent. And if you've done it right. You'll be able to walk up to the computer and press the button. If you were too slow, you're going to have to go back and do it again using a manual uh, load up a save. I mean, don't uh, just redo everything. Hit the button on the computer, then grab the star chart. Now we're going to head back to the right. Skipping, skipping, skipping. We're back in Shay's room. Head to the right again. Through the door, head to the right again. We need to get all the way to the central control room. So through this door here. Once we're here, we're going to go in the red Reaver, Weaver room door. We're going to use the fork slash yarn on the Weaver. Then we're going to use the star chart on the Weaver. Skip all that and head down the ladder. Use the hook on this chart. On the top row, we're going to use the second patch. 
On the second row, we're going to use the second patch. And I think that's it. Uh, what is it? Mid, mid, high, low, mid. That's correct. Back out of there. And back up the ladder. And skip all that and head left. We need to go back to the control room. So head left again. And don't go in the kitchen. Go left. Left. And in this door, skip all the cutscenes. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, once here, guys, click on the right uh, ship or Mogchotra, whatever you want to call it. Skip the cutscene, you should take control of Valor, exit the control room, and pick up off to the right here this uh, Hexy Power thingamajiggy. What you want to do here, guys, is uh, go in your inventory and examine it and pause the video. Uh, you may not do, I needed to pause just to stop the time here so I can explain it, guys. Uh, if you've done this already, you might already know that the three large scorch marks are the start of the wire and then the line leads you to the second node for each wire. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell in this screen here, but each of the large scorch marks has a certain tinge to it. You need to know where each wire goes. So for mine, I believe that is the blue is the is at 12 o'clock and it needs to go down to four o'clock. The yellow starts at two o'clock and it goes across to eight o'clock. And then the red starts at 10 o'clock and goes down to 6 o'clock. You need to know whatever your scorch marks are. Once again, they may be different to mine. Um, so make sure you know where your wiring is going to go. We need to know this very wire configuration in a little while. So just make sure you know it. I'm just making sure, yeah, I've got the colors right. Yes, I do. Once you're sure you've got that, Head through the door on the right into the central control room. As soon as you've got control here, Let's use the here. death ray. Skip all the cutscenes. Alright, as soon as you're back in control, we need to switch to Shay. Okay, we need to head through the door on the right. Skip that and head right again. And pick up the radio. And now we need to go back out and up the ladder. So out of the room and up the ladder. And we're gonna use that radio on the hexi pal in the bottom corner here. Skip all that, then use the fixed radio on Alex. Then make another save, guys. Okay, now we need to head right through the door again or down the ladder, and then left through this door. Uh, we got that little scene, sorry, I was reading my notes there for a second. Get rid of this. Okay, once you're here at this screen, we need to go to the wiring of our HexiPower. Remove the wiring. Now, hopefully you remember the harp configuration, guys, and you need to know your photo from earlier so you know which uh, things to do. But it is the full triangle which for me was two o'clock. So full triangle or two o'clock needs to go to the broken lines triangle, which for me was 12 o'clock or the three broken lines, I should say. Then you need to go from the three broken lines to the up and down arrow, which for me was 10 o'clock. And then you need to go from the full triangle again, which was two o'clock to the up and down lines again, which again was 10 o'clock. So there we go. I've made that picture. Yours might look different. Back out of there. He's going to play. Now, if this has worked, uh, they are going to start following us. I may need to use it on them. Yeah, do it that way. Now it looks like they're going to follow us. As long as they're following us, go into the next room. And again, into the next room. Hopefully they're following me. Yep, they are. Once you know they're following you, use your hexy dude on the harp. And then head back out. And head left again. 
We need to grab the mallet from this first trick panel. And then we need to head behind the pillar and hit the real power switch. There. Now the power's back on. I think. And now we need to go back and get our hexy power. So back, I think, three screens to the right. And pick up our hexy power. Once you've got your hexy power back, guys, we are going to switch over to or back to Valor. And from Valor, we're going to head to the left, so out the top left door. Uh, and left again, we want to get to Shay's room and then into the vent in Shay's room. I hate this is like the hardest room to navigate, this one, this hallway. Uh, into the vent right here. And we're going to sneak over and grab the wire off the computer now. Keep going, keep going, Valor. We need this wire. There we go. Uh, just get through all this dialogue. Uh, you can just back out of that dialogue, sorry. Now we need to head all the way to the right again. And we need to get back to pretty much where we just started with Valor. And then into the Space Weaver room. So back to the right. Oops, back through the door. To the right again. Once we're in here, go in the red space reaver, weaver door and then down the ladder. Okay, now we need to configure the hexi power with the, uh, with the wire. So equip the wire and use it on the hexi power. And we need to do the harp playing mode yet again. So ignoring the scorch marks, we need to do the harp playing mode, which for me is two o'clock or solid normal triangle. Solid normal triangle to the three three broken lines. Then it is the three broken lines to the up and down arrow, which is there. And then it is the solid uh, normal triangle to the up and down, whatchamacallit. So the same configuration we did just earlier on Shays. Once you've done that, skip that and use it on the scarf. And as soon as you've done that, guys, head up the ladder and head back out into the uh, command room. Uh, ignore what's her face. Once you're here, we're going to switch back to Shay. Make sure you're just in the command center here. Sp switch back to Shay. And from here, we're going to use the mallet in our inventory on the hexi power. Same thing we did at the end of the last playthrough. And then we are going to rewire the hexi power. Now, this time you need it to be the same as the scorch marks on Valor's. Hopefully, you've still either remember or you've got a picture of it. For me, it was there to there for blue. It was two o'clock to eight o'clock for yellow, and it was ten o'clock down to six o'clock for the pink. I'm going to back out of there. Uh, I'm going to then use it on the big drum in the background. I'm going to skip all that. Alex is distracted, so we're going to go back upstairs. Uh, up the ladder, sorry. And when we're back in here, guys, we are going to use the Gary remote. Skip the cutscene or cutscenes. Don't know why I'm getting a black screen. Then, whoops, wrong button. We are going to switch to Valor. And guys, we're pretty much done. We are pretty much done here. We are going to use the death ray. Skip all the cutscenes. And if you've done it quick enough, once you get through all the cutscenes, we're going to get our last two achievements. Oh, the end just crept up on me there. I was so focused on getting it all done. Hey, there it is. Let's get this good time over with, I think it says. We completed the game in under an hour. And... If the other achievement isn't glitchy, it should pop right now. I don't know why it's not popping, guys. But that's it for the video. That is it. I, I have heard that that can be glitchy. The other thing you can do, guys, is go into the game. Uh, if that happens to you, load up your last save and just beat the game again. Um, or fulfill the uh, requirements for your final achievement that you just got. I have heard that that makes that achievement pop. I'm going to try that off camera. But we've got all the other achievements. Let me go into the achievements. If you've followed along, we've got all of the achievements apart from unlock all Broken Age achievements. So I'll try that off camera, but I want to say a big, 
big thank you to everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate all the support on the series and on the channel. I've got so many Game Pass game guides coming, guys. That's all I'm doing is working on Game Pass guides right now. Uh, and I will do a little bit more of my Halo Legendary Run live streams as well. So please join me there. Like I said, thanks for watching. If this series helped or this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and please comment down below. Those things really, really help out the channel. If you want to support me and help me make more guides like this, hit the join button here on YouTube or become a patron on Patreon or both like some of you absolute bloody legends who are on the screen that I'm about to show at the end of the video or that I showed in the middle of the video uh, and showed in the middle of the video probably. So thank you to you legends. Uh, I love you guys. I love the support and I couldn't do this without you. There's the bell guys. Thank you so much for watching. But you know what that means. Class dismissed.